Well, I'm going to get to play with John Fishman. I've never played with him before, but I've known him since he was 13. Mm. I met him when he was 13 years old. His mother called me and asked me if I would give him some lessons. And I was teaching at the time. I said, be happy to. So he came to me in the first week of September. And so I wanted to create a little rapport with him. I asked him how his summer went. And he said, oh, it was great. I uh, had a great time. I said, well, what did you do? He said, well, I just got done following the Grateful Dead. I'm a deadhead. And I said, well, what do you mean? Because I wasn't really familiar with what a real deadhead was, I guess. So he said, well, I, I followed their tours all summer long. I said, great. Did one of your parents go with it? He goes, no, one of my buddies. I said, how did how'd you pull this off? He goes, I don't know. Five tunes, we're happy. And mixing up the feels and all that kind of stuff. So it's, it's all about the process. Do you so, ever have one long tune? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's yeah. like, oh, well, what did I get myself yeah, into? going to Dave was because because it was all Buddy Rich at that at the, and you know and he used to go around building himself as the world's greatest drummer so it, and it was arguable like you leave the room and you go, oh my god you know and and so that was sort of what I wanted to do but as a result of going to Dave too I saw oh yeah he had a picture of somebody different on the wall so I went and looked into Belson and that led me to like just the whole world of big band drumming the fact that he could uh, discipline himself and have that desire to see and be able to survive that and come out unscathed just kind of blew my mind. I mean, I knew this, this young man was special right then and there.